Northern Ireland is a beautiful place to tour at any time of the year, and it's forging a reputation now as a premier golf destination. The Belly Liffin Golf Club is only a few miles from the country's northernmost point, Mellon Head. It's captured the attention of many professionals since its official inception in the late 1940s. This club was in the gold since about 1947, and it was an old nine-hole course way beyond over there. When Mike Faldo came and he saw the place, he fell in love with the place. He thought about purchasing the place, but the members, they wanted to keep control of the entire complex for themselves. We didn't fall out of them, nor did he fall out with us. He thought so much of us that he said he would design the upgrading of the place. He didn't do it for nothing, but we got it done. And now we have two championship courses. Uh, I would say the two of the best courses that are probably in the British Isles, never mind Ireland. The results are nothing short of spectacular. As the name suggests, the Old Lynx is a traditional local challenge. The influence of Mother Nature is also readily evident on the newer glass sheety design. You can see from behind me here, we are on pure Lynx ground. Um, both courses here in Valley Liffin are, are really uh, a step back in time. They, they use the, the natural Lynx terrain to their very best. And uh, you can see we have a breezy day here today, a fairly typical day for a, for a Lynx course. And that in itself uh, throws up the challenges that uh, most people relish. OK, time to take a tour now and venture out onto the Glasheedy Lynx. It's the newer of the two courses. It's a stern test for all levels of golfers. The new course is a, a modern championship links, uh, man-made and bulldozed out of the natural terrain here. Uh, big greens, big fairways, big tees, everything's a bit uh, bigger about the, the Glashidi than, than the, the old links. We get John underway at hole 13. Now this is a demanding par 5, it requires accurate shot making with length. 13 is a, an uphill par 5, you can see behind me looking back down the fairway, uh, a straight hole but very much uh, dependent on the, the direction of the wind. Today the wind is against so it's going to play its full length. Uh, most definitely driver off the tee, uh, you've got to find fairway, uh, the rough is, is uh, fairly penal. Um, so a good drive, anything in and around 200, 250 yards and you're in with a chance of getting there in 3. Certainly today it's out of reach in two. Uh, the major hazard here in front of the green is a cavernous bunker on the front left and everything feeds into that so you've got to be up otherwise you're in the sand. A modern irrigation system makes the course an impressive sight all year round and the condition of the course makes shots like this next one from John quite possible. Local knowledge also plays a big part in success when you play the belly lifting course. You could come here a week and play a different golf course every day. Uh, it's that challenging. The wind, the wind can change, you know, in minutes here and blow from a completely different direction within an hour. Uh, so, you know, every hole is different and every day you play it, it's, it is different. So, you know, it's a challenging experience every time you come here. But you can breathe some size of relief. It's not all a tightrope walk. The greens are by and large generous. You need big targets in the seaside links courses because, you know, not only are you battling with your, your own ability, but uh, the elements throw up their own challenges. So they are very generous sized greens on, on Glashidi, a lot bigger than on the old links. That in itself throws up challenges in that uh, three pots are not commonplace, but uh, not unusual. So certainly you could have anything up to a 75 yard putt, no problem. On to 14. Glashidi is not only demanding, it's the rock that the course is named after. It's pretty spectacular with uh, our own Elsa Craig, the Glashidi rock. It is a spectacular view and uh, certainly people do take time to you know, enjoy their surroundings as well as enjoy the golf course. Let's go to the old course. 14 on the old links is a par 5, a dogleg right, really a new hole uh, developed by Faldo. It's a generous fairway, bunkers well down, um, out of range for most but a generous ferry, so the, the drive isn't as essential. It's, it's a three-shotter most days. So you're talking drive, maybe three wood, and then anything from a seven iron to a pitching wedge to the green. Uh, the green is elevated. Once again, it's a shoreside green, and uh, you know it's spectacular. The Pollen Beach is, is on your right-hand side the whole way along the extent of the par five. A fine hole, a very fine hole. We find plenty of challenges should our ball venture off the fairway into the traps. And we finish off the old Lynx challenge at hole 18 with a clubhouse in the distance. 
We were very lucky here, in fact, in that both nines finish at the clubhouse and both 18s finish at the clubhouse. So, you know, people find that very accommodating in terms of a light refreshment, say, after nine, and again, you don't have too far to walk when you come off the course at 18. It's a very strong finishing hole. Again, it's a three-shotter, generally speaking, unless you're a very fine golfer. You're talking about drive, three wood, possibly anything from a five iron up for your third to the gallery at the clubhouse and of course the captain has two bunkers uh, at the 18th green one of which if you go into you have to pay a fine to the youth academy so a little fundraiser and a bit of a talking point in the bar afterwards and that fundraising appeal also applies to the general manager so we have even more reason to be grateful for john's time belly is something special it's hard to find a better links challenge anywhere in the world